coconuts are the most widely grown nut in the world and are abundant in coastal areas of tropical countries. The world produces more than 60 million metric tons of coconut annually, and it contributes significantly to the economy of many tropical countries. Coconut fiber, also known as coir, is a natural and durable fiber extracted from the inner husk of coconuts. The coconut husk is composed of fiber and pith, with high lignin and phenolic content. Because of the high lignin content, coconut fiber is very elastic, resilient, strong, and highly durable. Coconut fiber is extensively used to rehabilitate deserts, enhance greens in golf courses, and prevent soil erosion in riverbanks and roadways. It is also an excellent growing medium for landscape plants and grasses since the fiber has natural rooting hormones and good water holding capacity. Coconut fiber can be woven or pressed together for a variety of applications. It is widely used as basic material in making nets, rolls, and mats as protective covers for soils and slopes. Unlike man-made fibers, coconut fiber is a renewable resource. Coconut fiber mats are made from a 100% biodegradable coconut fiber material that allows them to stabilize areas while vegetation and other plants are allowed to take root. It is fitted out for steep slopes and has open weave design for planting through the mat. The strong coconut fibers in coir matting allow it to last between 2 to 5 years, even when a slope has no vegetation. Coir matting can protect against erosion on oceans, lakes, and rivers or streams, even when submerged in water. Coir matting provides an effective and sustainable solution to the problems of soil erosion and landslides on man-made slopes such as highway and railway embankments. It is frequently used on slope where water erosion is a severe hazard such as roadside cut slopes and riparian areas. Coir matting should be applied by unrolling down the slope or in the direction of water flow. The soil should be prepared by raking the area free of stones, clods, vegetation, or other obstructions to ensure that the mats will have complete, direct contact with soil. Wooden stakes can be used to pin or anchor mats to the ground surface. Anchors shall be a minimum 150 mm long and have sufficient penetration to resist pullout, however, Longer anchors may be required for loose soils as determined and recommended by manufacturer's installation guidelines. In determining the best management practices for erosion control on slope, the design and construction engineers must evaluate several factors such as the slope angle, climate, and precipitation trends and rates, and soil types. <laughs>